Hello everybody, my name is Pragati Adak from Adore India and today I want to discuss a few things with you all about how we can talk to our children about COVID-19 or the coronavirus. Now this is obviously a very trying time for all of us and as we take steps to keep ourselves, our communities safe from this pandemic, I think it's important that we keep in mind how we are talking to our children about this disease because this is also a very scary time for them and they might be feeling high levels of anxiety. So we should try to keep the environment very supportive and inclusive and honest. The very first step to achieving that is that we should make sure that we are not afraid to talk about COVID-19 with them. Be it your children or your younger siblings, the chances that they have already heard about this disease, either through the news or social media or through the people around them, is very high. So we should sit down and have an honest discussion with them and dispel any fears or confusion which they might be feeling. While we are having these discussions, it's very important that we remain very calm and reassuring because children do look to adults in stressful situations to see how they should react to it. If we ourselves are feeling anxious and are panicking, children will pick up those cues and their anxiety levels will rise. So maybe we must make sure that we are very calm and reassuring while we are talking to them about it. Secondly, it might be a good idea to check in with what they are hearing or seeing on television or social media about COVID-19. The first reason for that is there is a vast amount of misinformation which is circulating in these platforms about COVID-19 and this can cause increased confusion and fear amongst children. We can dispel these fears by referring them to official and verified sources such as the WHO website, the CDC website or the Ministry of Health and Information website. The second thing is that we might try to reduce the amount of screen time which we are focusing on COVID-19. So for example, if you have a TV which is covering COVID-19 all day at your house and it's giving you news information all the time, that constant barrage of information can be very stressful, especially to a child. So sometimes maybe consider changing the channel to something entertaining or switching off the TV and taking up some other activities to help promote a little bit of peace and quiet within the household. Thirdly, we should all try to maintain some semblance of a regular routine. With most of the schools being closed, children are cooped up in the house and they are feeling very restless. To counter that, having a structured routine with regular meal times and bedtimes can be very grounding to them. We can encourage them to complete their schoolwork or take up a new extracurricular activity which can help them feel engaged. We should also try to incorporate some form of physical exercise within their routine because that will be healthy for their body and mind. Now the best way to reassure our children is to emphasize the preventative measures which we all can take because children will feel empowered when they know what to do to keep themselves safe. We can teach them the basic health guidelines which have been recommended to us by health experts. Those include number one, washing her hands as frequently as possible for at least 20 seconds with soap and water. If soap and water is not available to you, we can use a hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol content. Now, uh, the question may arise, when should we wash our hands? Before mealtimes, definitely. After going to the washroom, after coughing or sneezing. If you have been out to public spaces after coming home, we should immediately wash our hands. If you have been nearby somebody who is sick, we should wash our hands. If you have very young children, a good way to keep time of those 20 seconds might be to sing along some nursery rhymes with them, which can be a fun way. For example, singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or singing the Happy Birthday song twice amounts to exactly 20 seconds. We should also try to teach them that they should not touch their face, no, especially their mouth, nose and eyes with their hands as much as possible. This is because our hands are touching a lot of dirty surfaces all the time and these surfaces may contain germs which will then get inside our bodies and may make us sick. 
we should also tell them to sneeze or cough into either a disposable tissue or the crook of their elbow like so this will help to prevent the transmission of the disease if your child is of a slightly elder age it might be also a good idea to introduce the concept of social distancing amongst them in very simple and brief terms it basically means distancing ourselves from people avoiding large crowds not touching people unless it's necessary etc now while we are discussing these important things with our children it is also important that we do not overwhelm them overwhelm them with more and more information and keep our information age appropriate for children who are in kindergarten and elementary very simple brief information with focus on preventative measures will be good for children who are in middle school and high school we can try to provide them with as honest and accurate information as we can find and refer them to verified sources having this information with will make them feel more in control and will control their anxiety and reduce any fears they might have you know your child better than anybody so let your child's questions guide the amount of information you want to share with them definitely help them practice healthy habits and always keep a lookout on updates on verified sources i hope you all stay safe and healthy thank you so much